What's up, guys? Welcome to episode 64 of the Unofficial NCLEX podcast. I am Katie Kleber, your host. Today's episode is entitled, Ensure Safe Implementation of Internal Radiation Therapy. So this is an important thing to know because you kind of handle these patients a little differently. If they have um, internal re- radiation, maybe it's a device or implant or seed or whatever, um, you have to make sure that you're taking care of them appropriately. You don't want yourself to get exposed to unnecessary radiation or the family um, or, or other patients and visitors. So it's let's just go through some quick points. Number one, never touch the device or the implant. Never touch it. That's just, don't don't do that. <laughs> um, make sure you're labeling things appropriately. If someone is, um, does have a radiation implant, typically you, you probably will be required to put them on something called, um, chemotherapy precautions, um, where you put up a, an appropriate sign. You have, um, you know, the, the signage that's necessary, the appropriate, um, bags to get rid of their linen and trash because it's considered biohazard material and not just regular trash and, and, um, regular linen, dirty linen. It's, it's actually biohazard. So you have a specific way that you have to do things and you want to make sure that you're not, you know, um, you know, taking things in and out of that room, you know, maybe you, you're using a thermometer or a vital sign machine, you know, you're doing that appropriately and following those um, policies and procedures from specific hospitals, which vary um, slightly. So I won't go into specifics, but labeling is essential. Following your policy and procedure specifically is essential. Um, You want to ensure that patient is in a private room to prevent exposure to other patients and their loved ones. So if you can imagine someone has um, you know, a device and they're in a semi-private room, the people in that room are at risk for radiation exposure. And if you add another patient and their family, that increases the risk. So let's, um, or incre- not increases the risk, but increases the people exposed to that risk. So we want to make sure everybody is just as safe as possible. Um, you as the nurse want to maintain your distance between yourself and the device consistently so that you're not sitting right next to wherever the device may be on the patient for the whole shift and you're charting, you maybe you pulled up the computer and you're sitting right there like that. Your safety is essential. We want to provide, um, compassionate care and support, but not at the risk of our own safety. So while maybe if it was another patient, you'd give them a reassuring pat on the hand or sit right next to them for a while. This is, this is a little different. You want to make sure that you are, um, keeping a safe distance when appropriate and limiting your exposure. You may need to use a a shield, like a lead apron. Um, if this, you know, this might be part of the the policy and I really want to encourage you to do that. Um, it may seem like in the moment, like this would be a good idea. Maybe I don't need it or they seem fine. Well, they may seem fine, but what if, and maybe everything is fine with this patient, but what if you have seven more patients this week that are like that, that have a device and, and, and how, let's think a big picture, how much radiation are you getting exposed to? So it's important that you're, um, maintaining, um, safety and also going in line with that and what we talked about with labeling is handle the linen and all patient care items per policy. You know, typically the linen and trash are disposed of in a specific manner and appropriate labeling is necessary all the way through and maybe trash and, and whatnot is only removed at specific intervals and put in specific places. So that is another a really important thing to make sure that you are your do not only you know but you're the people caring for that patient so maybe you know how to handle the linen but you need to make sure that your cna knows how to handle the linen uh, and that they're not mixing it up with the other linen and because if we um don't label it appropriately and their linen gets mixed in with everybody else's the people that are handling that linen and cleaning it and moving it from place to place they are at risk because they don't know the seriousness of what's going on with the the fluids that have touched that linen. So that is really important. So that concludes episode 64. Ensure safe Im- implementation of internal radiation therapy. This has been another episode of the unofficial Inclex Prep podcast. To get the massive PDF guide that goes along with this podcast, head over to nrsng.com 
slash NCLEX prep. That's NRSNG.com slash NCLEX prep. That's a free download that you can take with you anywhere, and you can basically have this podcast in text format. Our goal here at NRSNG.com is to give you the tools and the confidence that you need to succeed in nursing school, on the NCLEX, and in your life as a nurse. We want you to succeed, and we want you to become part of this movement of nurses that is dedicated and motivated to learning and becoming the best nurse that they can possibly be. My name is John Haas, RNCCRN, and I'm the founder of NRSNG.com, and I sincerely thank you for being here, and I'm so proud of you for taking this step in your journey. Now you know what time it is now. It's time to go out and be your best self today. Happy nursing.